responder message incoming. Immediate evacuation of the First Friends Church in Charleston is required due to swarming vermin. Brewing in this area does reveal salvage, but well-equipped trained personnel can recover. Civilians should remain clear while the bells ring. Hey everybody, Benta Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. You just heard that message again for that event where we're supposed to find a church and search some disturbed dirt for salvage. Uh, I listened to that message again when I was editing the last episode and um, it sounds like, well, it doesn't sound like, she says something like, uh, highly trained people with the proper materials can search the dirt for salvage. Well, I guess I'm not one of those people. Uh, because uh, twice now we've gone over to the church, uh, which I'm not sure which direction it's in right now. I guess it's over there somewhere. Uh, we've gone over to the church, and uh, we did not find any disturbed dirt. So I guess we don't have whatever skills or items needed to do that. So I'm going to bring up my pit boy here, and we're just going to go ahead and turn this thing off. Because... I'm not going to do it again. I've already done it twice. And also because I think that we should get back to the main quest, this main miscellaneous quest where we are supposed to explore the Charleston Fire Department, which uh, for some reason I can't seem to show on my map. Huh, I wonder why I can't. Um, so here it is on my map. Uh, when I was saying I can't show it on my map, um, I'm supposed to be able to go in here, and uh, you see I press this button here, and it says show on map, and now it's working. It wasn't working a moment ago, I'm telling you. Let's go ahead and cruise on over here. Am I really on this side of the river? Yeah, I guess I am, aren't I? Um, go this way. I guess this isn't the river, this is just a little creek here. Let's just walk in this direction. You know, my little marker down there at the bottom of the screen on my compass says go this way. So I'm going to go this way. There's the church. You hear the bells ringing. Melody said to avoid... Civilians should avoid the area while the bells are ringing. That's what she said. Oh, look at this. We got trouble here. Up oh, here he comes. How's it going? Oh, I missed him. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I'm missing. Huh, there's a little place we could go in. Let's go in and check it out. Why not? Oh, look at me being all over encumbered. Okay. <laughs> I just remembered that... Uh, at the starting of this this episode, the first thing that I actually wanted to do was to go back to my camp and uh, take care of this inventory uh, glut I've got here. My goodness, look at this. What was going on here? People running to the um, preservation shelter over here and uh, hmm, got kind of crazy. Got kind of crazy over here, it looks like. Um, wait, let's go ahead and just look in this little place here. And Oh, it's a Slocum's Joe. Let's just look in here real quick before I uh, fast travel back to my... Um, I'm going to just go ahead and pick everything up. I'm going to travel back to uh, camp anyway. And then we'll just go back to camp and we'll, we'll scrap all this stuff, you know, so that we have more uh, material to uh, uh, maybe improve our camp at some point. Here's a note. It says... The note says, the coffee. It was never just a coffee shop. It was a meeting point, a chance to see neighbors, friends. Just knowing there were other people in this city that you recognized was a small piece of humanity you could buy with two creams and sugar. R. Now, this reminds me that uh, we've seen quite a few notes from this R person in this, in this area. Uh, if we go here and we look at uh, this part called notes. Um... Let's see here. What would be a note from this R person? Oh, let's see. Can I have two of those? I have maps. Uh, the coffee, the doctors, right? This was another one that we saw left by R. If you're looking for medical assistance, then it's strictly DIY at this point. That was another note from R. Uh, 
not the domestics, but I do believe the owner was another one left by R. Uh, yes, indeed. I knew the man who lived here. It wasn't long before someone killed him for his house, sniped from one of the overlooking buildings. Don't let that happen to you. And then I believe there's one more, the shrink, also left by R. Dr. Joseph was always busy treating anxiety and depression for office workers and politicians from the Capitol. It seems like a luxury now, but sometimes nothing is more valuable than a talk with someone who will really listen. Isn't that the truth? Let's pick stuff up. I'm going to pick all these things up because I am a moron and I just realized that I am over encumbered and I can't fast travel when I'm over encumbered. So what the hell am I thinking? I'm like, well, I've got this uh, um, uh, over encumbered uh, inventory problem taken care of. Every time I'm over encumbered, I'll just fast travel back to my camp and take care of it. Well, you can't do that. You can't do that. Because as everybody knows, even people who have never played this game, everybody knows that you can't fast travel when you're over encumbered. So, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? I think the answer to that is, I'm not thinking. So, um... What was that sound? So my other option is either to just drop a bunch of crap on the ground here and just leave it, or to walk around in hopes that I find a bench. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm moving around pretty well, even though I'm super mega over encumbered. You know, I'm not too worried about it. You know, we've got our perks set up here in a way uh, so that um, we can walk around a bit. Okay, let me move, try to move around this stupid interface here. Uh, agility, we've got, um, you know, Action Boy here. Action points regenerate 45% faster. That certainly helps a lot. We've got through hiker so that food and drink weights are reduced by 30%. And then I have pack and light just because it's the only other one that I've got. Pistols weigh 25% less. That's fine. That's great and everything. But uh, those perks there do help an awful lot uh, for our over encumberedness. What is that? <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, my recording software died again, and that is the earliest it has ever died, not even eight minutes into the episode. And as you can see, it's daytime now. I, I tried to walk back to uh, the area where I think that it crashed, because uh, I remember I was looking at this, uh, what, I, what I know to be a sign now. Uh, it was lit up at night and looked weird, but uh, it's just a sign for Southside Bridge. Um... I don't know what to do about this recording software business, man. I have to use different recording software, I guess, so that this doesn't keep happening. Uh, but anyway, sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, and it's kind of weird. Um, you can see, you know, it's daytime now, and when it crashed, it was nighttime. So I guess, I don't know, when you connect to a different server, all different servers have different times, you know? some On some servers, it's daytime, and some servers, it's nighttime. It's pretty weird. I prefer daytime anyway, so it's daytime, and uh, we're making our way over to the Charleston Fire Department. Wow, is this the fire department? This big giant building here? I guess it is. This uh, symbol here, North Charleston Fire Department. There you go. It's like a tower built up there. This is a big building. This is a really, really big fire department. Discovered Charleston Fire Department. So I'm hoping that maybe we will find a workbench in here. And uh, I can scrap some of this crap that I've got. But in the meantime, we're doing alright. We'll be okay. We're gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. So long as my recording software doesn't crash again. What is that? Oh, I thought there was something in the air in the sky over there. I don't know if you saw that before I looked away. There was something up there, I'm telling you right now. Oh. We've got uh, Protectrons walking around in here, and at least that one over there is friendly. I don't know about this other one that I hear. There is uh, music playing on a radio, so I'm going to switch that off real quick. 
Here is a mechanic jumpsuit. Let's pick that up and put that on. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, in case you forgot, uh, right now <laughs> we're wearing the, um, uh, I don't know, amusement park worker outfit. I forget what it's called. Let's see, apparel. Amusement park worker outfit, that's exactly what it's called. We put on a me mechanic jumpsuit and uh, check that out. That actually looks more appropriate. So um, we'll, we'll do this. Uh, remember, okay. Remember in the last episode, uh, we did some kind of like obstacle course thing. Whoa. Hey, how's it going? Real Don Chump. All right. Look at this guy. That is uh, that is quite an outfit he's got there. Yeah. Okay. That is, a, that is a full set of power armor right there, I think. He's even got the helmet. Looks like he's got a light on top there. So, uh, yeah. That's, um... It's quite a get-up you've got. I kind of like it. <laughs> I love how people ignore me. It's great. Anyway, um... It was funny to watch him go rushing by like that. It's really funny. Uh, remember, uh... It was last episode when we did that um, fire breathers training course, and uh, it was mentioned that we were supposed to go to the fire department to uh, sign up, and this is where we do it, I think. Actually, I don't. I'm not. Don't know for sure. I'm just guessing. Uh, knowledge exam cheat sheet. Uh, more mad again scouting report. There's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, let's read the uh, knowledge exam cheat sheet. Greg, these are the answers. Oh, great, there's shooting going on. These are the answers to the Fire Breathers knowledge exam. We're doing this together or not at all. Just don't let anyone else find this, okay? Uh, question one, evacuate. Oh, three, evacuate as quickly as possible. Uh, question two. Uh, two, a water-soaked rag. Uh, question three, gently bind the burn with clean bandages. Question floor. Floor? Uh, retreat immediately, question five. One part purified water, two ash rose, three blight, two soot flower, as much as I wish it was number two, okay? Uh, question six, fall back and engage from a distance with firearms. Question seven, this one we both know pretty fucking well. It's why we're here. Um, I don't know if I need these answers, uh, but I'm gonna just write them down anyway, uh, cause maybe this terminal here is where we will take the uh, quiz. Uh, so it's, um, three, one, no, three, two, um, and then, uh, one, two, three, uh, two, and then a question mark, because I don't know what that's all about. There's that, and then we could listen to the Madigan scouting reports. Challenge complete, collect an audio tape, okay. You're Captain Melody. Don't need my permission. So how's it look out there, Hank? <sighs> well, I uh, found some more survivors. Started shooting at me the second they saw me. Like the rest. Sounds about par for the course. Seems like there's not a sane mind south of Mount Blair. Anything else? Ash is piling up faster than we expected. But going by the maps the earlier teams did, it at least doesn't seem to be spreading anymore. So, we've only lost Welsh, Beckley, Lewisburg, and everything around them. Little blessings, I suppose. Oh, and actual good news. Gear hand mining. <laughs> Been a long time since I've heard good news and gear hand mining sent back to back. No kidding. But that excavator armor they made ruined the company. Rumor is it's tough as nails, and they still got the plans on site. Could you imagine what a patrol would be like if we could figure out how to make those things? Yeah, locals would hopefully be a lot less inclined to shoot first. Bingo. You give me a day or two. I can head back down there, see what I can do. No. Garahan can wait. You need rest. Head up to Morgantown. That excavator armor will still be there. Now go. Okay, so something called excavator armor. I wonder if that's a type of um, power armor. Most probably is, right? 
Uh, we're still supposed to be exploring the Charleston Fire Department. That's what we're doing. Let's take a look at this master terminal here. Oh no, user access denied. Contact Melody Larkin or Hank Madigan for clearance. Well, let's see if we could find one of them and, you know, see if we could get access. Uh, well, I'm going to take both of those. It's good stuff. Here is the Charleston Herald Man vs. Machine. Monday, October 18th, 2077. Lewisburg. Ever since the first pickaxe bit into Appalachia's mineral-rich bedrock, Hornwright Industrial and Garahan Mining have been at odds. These local companies are virtually at war, competing against each other to discover which of them will emerge as West Virginia's true titan of the mining industry. Hornwright struck the first blow when they erected the Rockhound atop Mount Blair. Then Garahan returned fire when they unveiled their impressive excavator power armor. Uh, the latest salvo comes from Hornwright, who drew back the curtain on their newest innovation, the Auto Miner, a completely autonomous robotic mining unit co-developed with local tech upstart Atomic Mining Services. Once this marvel was revealed, all eyes focused on Garahan for their reply. But instead of releasing a technical innovation, CEO Vivian Garahan has dropped a bombshell when she announced the ambitious Man vs. Machine Challenge. 24 straight hours of rock-chewing mayhem which will directly pit Hornwright's auto miner robots against Garahan's own excavator power armor equipped human miners. Although it's uncertain which company will emerge victorious, perhaps this will end the long-standing feud between these bitter rivals once and for all. Ooh, let's take that paper with us so we can read it again later. Whoa, oh, 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 I'm in auto move. Okay, stop it. Uh, I guess at first I was like, what's this? But I guess this is maybe like a bookshelf that fell forward. We got a printer here that does not respond to our input. I was going to be surprised if that worked. Whatever we're looking for is downstairs in that direction. Trading post supplies medical. Stairs going up and down. Let's finish exploring this floor before we go to a different floor. Okay, here's the garage with the fire trucks. Pretty cool. Uh, looks like I'm a little thirsty. Let's take a drink real quick. Um, scroll down here. What do I got? Well, really just some purified water is I guess my only option here. So we'll just take a swig of that real quick. What's up, you vendor bot Mac? Oh, okay. Here. Huh. Or I could uh, gear down here. <laughs> I guess I'm going to sell him a bunch of stuff. Here, let's pick up all this stuff in this room and just immediately sell it to him. Oh, I can't pick that up. All this crap. We'll just pick it up. We'll sell it to him. We'll make some caps. Um, I doubt we could sell burnt comic books to him. Ooh, it's a button. What'd it do? What'd the, what'd the button do? What did it do? Press a button. I was expecting it to open or shut that door. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Nothing that I'm noticing anyway. Let me try it again. Don't see anything. All right. Uh, let me pick up a few more things before we go over to this um, this uh, vendor bot here, and uh, we'll just clean up the place a little bit and sell him stuff. We'll do that. Uh, I could I could walk around the whole place doing this. Green rag hat. All this stuff in these discs. Um, that I hope this guy buys from me. If he doesn't, then I'll have to just drop some of it on the ground. Um, can I even pick that up now? I do know the drill. What if I interact with it? Fire breathers are the elite of the responders, taking out the scorched one at a time. Hmm. Taking out the scorched. He actually mentions the scorched. Fire breathers. Okay. Are the All right. You already said that. 
Uh, let's Making see here. Healthy. Let's sell him some extra weapons One. I've got. Boy, they are not time. worth much at all. But, uh, that's okay. Uh, I'm keeping, keeping the flare gun for some reason. I don't know why. Just because I haven't seen one of those. Man, uh, 32 Molotov cocktails. I thought I had dumped off some of those, but, uh, I guess not. You can gear up here. What? Oh, you can gear up here. That's what he said. Let's get rid of these things. So, I mean, I am making a very, very small amount of caps, but, you know, why not sell this stuff? Responders, set up this trading post for their fire breathers unit. Uh, snub nose pistol. Um, yeah, I mean, I've already got... I thought I used to have a, nice um, a pistol that zoomed in. I'm gonna hang on to that. This city seen a lot. Alright, dude. Uh, okay, these, uh, these left legs and right arms. I'm gonna sell these off. I'm gonna keep the outfits, just for fun. Just for fun, because it's fun to keep outfits. And at some point, when I get to my you stash, I'll drill. dump that stuff in there. Buy I... Um, okay, and then aid. Do I want to sell any aid? Well, beer is listed as an aid. I don't need that. And, um, I'm also going to sell him, um, this logger. You need supplies. I am programmed to trade match made in heaven. Uh-huh. Yep, you keep talking, dude. Uh, sell off this stuff. Wow, look at that. We got our weight way down. Uh, no doubt from selling those um, uh, weapons. Uh, junk, we can... Unfortunately, I can't sell all junk easily. So I'm just gonna do this. Get rid of all this junk real quick. I mean, I know I could scrap it, but there's no table around, so I'm just gonna sell it and make money here. Okay, that's cool. Make a little bit of money, you know. Uh, I'm never going to use this, I don't think. I don't know. You um, need it might be dumb to sell I that stuff, but... Uh, it's okay. May in heaven. As far as... Um, huh, there's some glasses there I could sell to him. Uh, as far as stuff that I might want from him, well, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Now he does. That, that was weird. It was just blank just a second ago. Um, like, we could buy weapons from him. Uh, we could buy some clothes from him. Here. We could buy aid. Uh, he's got some bobby pins, some gunpowder, that technical data that I just sold to him. Uh, notes. Oh, he's got some plans here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that there's any way you know that I can drill. look easily look to see what plans now. I already know. You know? Like, I don't want to buy anything, spend all this money to buy it from him if I already have it. Like, I know I've already got this. As a matter of fact, can I sell him that? Uh, unfortunately, I can't. Uh, that kind of sucks. I can't sell him extra plans. Are the elite of the responders. But anyway. Taking out the scorched one at a time. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'm done with him, and we are no longer over encumbered. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of nice. That's, that's real nice. Real, real nice. Uh, there's more to this floor. Well, maybe just a little bit more. Restrooms. Oh, that just takes it right, takes us right back out there. A burgundy bottle in the restroom. Oh, showers in the restrooms here. Bunch of beer bottles in there. Oh, this is cool. That's kind of cool. We'll take that. And uh, some barracks here, it looks like. Some drinks, hard hat. Um, oh, here's some purified water. Now, that is something that I want. I like purified water. Did I see this box? No, nothing in there. Okay, 
that's where we were. Let's go down here. Let's uh look around this place a little bit. See if there's anything cool. Those are neat looking fire trucks. Ooh, let's unlock this tool chest. I'm sure something great will be inside of it. Not so much, really. A few rounds, that's kind of cool. Oh, whoa, look at that. There's a body. Burnt body lying there. There's a... poster for the excavator power armor hanging there. We'll go look at that here in a second, too, when we walk over there. Hey, what's up, buddy? Too cool in the kitchen. Join the fire breathers today. Too cool in the kitchen. Oh, quest started into the fire. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, join the responders' most prestigious unit, the fire breathers. Hmm. Well, you know. I mean, I guess I could do that. Into the fire. So, am I done exploring the uh, Charleston Fire Department story-wise? That miscellaneous quest I had? Um, the miscellaneous quest is gone. It's got a check mark. Okay, well, I guess I was just supposed to talk to him? Seems the Fire Breathers, an elite responders unit, were based in the Charleston Fire Department. Might be worth checking the place out. Yeah, let me show that on the map. It is also right around here. And it is uh, in that direction over there. Alright, well, we'll just keep looking around here. And we'll get to that. I mean, obviously, we're going to join the Fire Breathers. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do, story-wise. So that is what we shall do. Um, I'm uh, having thoughts. The thoughts are, well, there's a vendor bot right here, right? So uh, why am I not picking up everything that I see? Uh, so that I could just take it to him and sell it and just make a few extra caps, right? So let me backtrack a little bit and uh, pick everything up. And uh, when I go back to... Uh, oh, look, I missed this before, actually. When we go back to... Um, well, I missed that, too. Good grief. The vendor bot will uh, just sell this, stuff, this junk to him. And make some extra caps so that we could fast travel more frequently and more freely. I can't believe how much stuff I missed in here. Just crazy. And then I think uh, there's some stuff here in the bathroom that I could pick up also. Like all these bottles. I mean, I think he buys this crap from me for, you know, even one cap a piece. Um, you know, gets me closer to uh, having enough to fast travel. So why not pick the stuff up? Okay, I already cleared that area out. So let's go back downstairs again. Oops, that's the long way down. And uh, there was a um, tool chest here that had some stuff in it that I didn't pick up. And over here is another tool chest with more crap in it. Okay. So yeah, we'll just pick up crap. And then before we leave the uh, fire department, hopefully... Oh, there's a body here. A young woman. Oh my. Whoa. Miscellaneous. Search the body. That was weird. Did you see the her inventory kind of um, populate there? Worn veil. Tattered dress. And a damaged holotape. Oh. New quest. To the mystery, learn the history of Riverside Manor. Fun! That would be a side quest. I found the body of a young woman with a strange outfit. I was only able to make out parts of her damaged holotape. The order, Riverside Manors, R Manor, Raiders. Who was she and what was this order? Let's look at it on the map. Okay, it's over here. Neat. I love missions. It's so much fun. Oh, there's a dude over here. Phil Knob 11. 
Best of luck to you, Phil Knob 11. Up here is uh, Agro Kitty. Uh, Mr. Credence is over here. You know, it's just nice to do a little check every once in a while. Ooh, Tweeters 89, level 94. I'm thinking Tweeters 89 has a lot of spare time on his hands or her hands. Up here, Noose 004. Zebfed. You know, just a bunch of people running around. Phantom Punch over here. Um, what level are we? I don't even. I don't even know. We are level nineteen. Okay, level nineteen. Uh, okay, so yeah, we picked up what what was described as an interesting outfit from her. So uh, let's put it on and see what's so interesting about it. There was a um, tattered dress and a worn veil, which is the uh, um, quest item. <laughs> Jeez. All right, that's what I'm wearing. That's what I'm wearing. Do I still have my armor on though? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I got my leather left arm, my leather right arm, which are in horrible condition. They are, they're just about broken. And then I got my metal left leg and my metal right leg. So, and I'm carrying around two stinking power armor chassis. I'm carrying around two of these? I don't remember seeing an option to sell that either. I mean, I could sell one of those things. This is a value of zero. Okay. Power armor has a value of zero. That makes sense. Okay, uh, let's keep walk walking around here, checking this place out. See what we could pick up and sell. Hello? Why would that old phone be there? Uh, here is a note. Fire Breather's First Aid Guide. A cold compress. Gently bind the burn with clean bandages. Disease curatives. Collect the following ingredients. Take them to a stove or cook pot and combine. Forest flora. One part boiled water. Two fire caps. Two snap tails. Two blood leaves. Ash heap. One part purified water. Two ash rose. Two blight. Two soot flower. Let's take that. I was hoping that I would have learned a new um, recipe just by taking that, but I didn't. Oh, a crumpled fedora. Let's look at that. Crumpled fedora. See how that looks. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that's what I'm wearing. Um... I'm not, I'm not committing to this, but uh, right now I'm just having a little bit of fun. Uh, whatever I pick up, I put on, and then I wear it until I find the next thing, or until I find myself in a really bad firefight where I need to put on something more serious. 10 millimeter weapon, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter rounds, uh, ammo over here. Other toolbox, tool chest, if you want to get technical about it. A mannequin. Okay, I don't know why there's a mannequin in here. Uh, maybe... It looks like they've got a bit of a firing range here. <laughs> I, I, I don't know anything about guns and ballistics, but it just seems to me that... Wouldn't the bullet hit the tire and, like, go ricocheting all over the freaking place? That just seems very dangerous to me. But again, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh! Okay, game, cut it out. The dude just started walking off to the side for... No apparent reason. Oh, uh, before we go that way, I um, wanted to look at these posters. Smoke alarms, a sound you can live with. Uh, hello and goodbye. Replace smoke alarms every 10 years. Replace batteries every year. Test smoke alarms every month. Who does that? <laughs> Who tests their smoke alarms every freaking month? Fire safety on, fire hazards gone. It's kind of cute. And then, uh, ooh, examine the poster. Warning. Minor miracles cannot be completed until you've reached level 25. Warning, warning. Okay, geez, excuse me. Uh, so we picked up a new quest called Minor Miracles, where we're supposed to investigate Garahan Mining's headquarters because the smart miner can always use an extra pair of hands. Um, 
Gerhand Mining Company presents the Excavator Power Armor. Taking on Hornwright Industrials Auto Miners. Place your Excavator suit order today. Alright. Witness the epic battle between man and machine. So we picked up a new quest that we can't complete yet because I guess we're not bad enough. I've discovered a poster depicting something called the Excavator Power Armor. It appears to be manufactured by the Garahan Mining Company. To learn more about this unusual armor, I should explore their headquarters. Let's go ahead and turn that off. I'm also going to turn this one off too, because uh, we're not going to do that right this moment. Okay, so let's look around in here. I haven't been in here yet. Oh, look, hey, finally a weapons workbench. Um, pipe weapon. And uh, let me just go pick up some more stuff before I go to the workbench. Armor workbench. You know what? Let us um, repair our armor right now. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, this stuff is in perfectly fine condition. If in my, on my pit boy, it looked like it was just about ready to break. Calmex. So they got a scorched corpse here. That's kind of neat. They were uh, maybe doing some. Oh, a bone saw, yeah. Elite. Uh huh. Join the fire breathers. Okay. Access any training terminal to begin. Huh, I wonder if I'm going to have to go through that um, course again. Oh, surveyor outfit. I got to put this on. Oh, somebody's walking around. Oh, man. I want them to see me in my. Um... Oh, it's a scorched. Thought it was another player. Where'd this scorched come from? Oh, it's not another player. Surveyor outfits. To cool in the kitchen. Join the right. fire breathers today. That's not nearly as hilarious of an outfit. Turn back the scorch. Take the fire breathers exam. Join today. Yeah, I, I bet you that I'm going to have to go through that uh, course again. That one that we took, that we did last episode. Was that last episode? It seems longer ago, but I guess it was the last episode. Weapons workbench over here. Uh, let's see. He's walking around, man. Too cool in the kitchen. Join the fire breeze. Where are you? Today. Come out. Oh, oh, it's a dude. Okay. Hey. Okay. Armor workbench. I was going to use this one. Let's, um... Oh, now I hear a scorched. Repair my gun. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and repair the flare gun. My sniper rifle. Oh, why can't I repair it? Um... Why can't I repair my... Oh, I can repair it. And then repair my machete. Oh, Okay. All right, why can't I repair this? Somebody's walking around, man. That's still him. Um, you know, I could, I could, I could scrap items. Hey, how's it going? I could scrap items. Um, he would like me to join a team. Troll tab. Open the social menu. Did I press control tab? I did. Control tab. Control tab. Um, I don't see a social menu. What what the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? Um, well, I mean, I wasn't against trying it out, you know? I mean, I appreciate it, but, um, you know, I thought it might be interesting to just try out joining the team, but, uh, I did not understand that at all. It said, it said press control tab, and I did, and, uh... It did this weird thing here. Um, what? <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what the hell that has to do with joining the team. Sorry, dude. Um, I, I, you know, I wasn't against it. Uh, if anybody knows how to do that, uh, please let me know. Um, anyway... Uh, I'm thirsty again. Man, I, I gotta get some water. 
Uh, although we did, p th thankfully, oh great, now it's going to do this all the time. H oh jeez, how do I stop it from doing that? Oh crap, <laughs> I broke my pit boy. <laughs> I broke my freaking pit boy. <laughs> I can't, I can't pick anything. What the? There, we'll go to this. Oh crap. Um, hold on. Hold on, I need a drink of water. Don't, don't hit me yet. Okay. Here comes trouble. Uh, here's a terminal we could unlock. I hear you, and you're annoying me, so I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shut you up. Where are you? Picking up stuff. Where is this guy? It's not another invisible enemy, is it? it sounds like he's right here. Maybe he's outside. Or maybe he's upstairs. He could be upstairs. This game doesn't really do a very good job with, um, sound location. Because it always sounds like they're, like, walking right in my freaking ear uh, when they're, you know, on the floor above me. And I've also mentioned several times before about how disappointing it is how um, no matter where an enemy is walking, it, it, it sounds like they're just walking on a wood floor. They could be outside walking on grass and it sounds like they're walking on a wood floor. So that's disappointing. And surprising. I mean, this is not Bethesda's first game, you know, and it's not the first time using this engine. Uh, I mean, this is the first time maybe using this uh, quote-unquote updated engine, but uh, come on. They, they, know, they should know what they're doing. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I think I'm going to... I said I was going to collect stuff to sell it, and I think I'm going to just do that. Because I, I have so much scrap stuff, so we'll just sell it. Let's l unlock this terminal here and hope that this uh, Scorch doesn't come in here uh, while I'm trying to do this. Radios. No likenesses. Uh, needed. Uh, could be. Three likenesses and needed. Period has one. Uh, has two likenesses with needed, so it's not going to be period. Ruined has uh, two likenesses. Notice has one likeness. Hauled has one likeness. Opened has three likenesses. Nice. Remote door control. Oh, really? The door is open. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Alright. Um, remote door control. I mean, I didn't even see an option to shut the door from this thing. It just says remote door control. Status open. Okay. Maybe another player already opened that. You know? Maybe that's what's going on. And, uh, therefore I cannot open it. Maybe this guy did it. Um. Yeah. Um. Well, let's, uh, let's keep exploring. It's what we do. It's what we do. Okay, this is the little kitchen area. Still hear this scorched grunting. Annoyed grunt. Comfy pillow. I'm sure that the uh, vendor bot will buy the comfy pillow from us. Because even vendor bots appreciate comfort. Oh wow, I could pick up six balls and a fire axe and a rack and... This is important stuff. You know, these are these are caps in my pocket right here. Uh, I wonder what would happen if the other player came in here and started playing the jukebox if I would hear the music. And I'm over encumbered now, but that's okay. Oh, wind chimes. I'm gonna take those. Aluminum scrap added. All right, let's not walk outside yet. We need to look around in here. You need to stay focused, man. Stay focused. You got some looting to do. This is important stuff. Gotta loot this place. Leave no place unlooted. Oh, I'm even gonna take your dinner fork. Sorry, dude. Dinner's over. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Pay your bill and leave. Oh! Uh-huh. Look at that can right on the floor. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's exit this room, and we'll go down here, and uh, we'll take this beer bottle, 
And we've already been there. And, uh, already been in that room. So let's go upstairs, I guess. And we've already been on this floor. We've already looked at this floor. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Shot their head clean off. <laughs> That's so funny. It's so funny shooting heads off. What's up, dude? Um, okay. So this isn't so much of a floor as it is the roof. Hey, what's up? Level 14 Predictron's just kind of hanging out. Huh? Your overseer says hello, Vault Dweller? Glad you made it to Charleston? Who's... Which, uh... It was... It was somebody named Mac who said that. Who was... Who's Mac? Responder. Set up this trading post for their fire breathers unit. Oh man. Can't get back in. Where's this where's this guy who goes by Mac? Here's a uh, cooking station. I don't think I've picked up any water in a long time. I haven't. You need supplies. I trust I mean I don't think I don't think Mac was the Vendor bot, was it? Maybe it was, because the name Max sounds familiar. Let's see if I can get back in this building. What the heck is that? Oh, eh, it's like a street sweeper thing. <laughs> Fire prevention and training courses every Thursday. Okay. Um, let's see here. You're not Mac. There's a suit of power armor here. <laughs> that wasn't there before. <laughs> I mean, I don't need it. You know, I'm already carrying two sets of power armor on me somehow. <laughs> um, where, where was this? Is your name Mac? Vendor bought Mac. Okay, so it is Mac. So Mac was... You can get okay. up here. For, so if, w when I was in here talking to him or, or interacting with him earlier, he didn't say anything about my overseer. But when I go walking around outside, he's like, Hey, your overseer says hi. Glad you made it to Charleston. Well, why didn't you tell me that when I was in here before, dude? You know, in federal level five. Uh, let's sell some stuff here. Some stuff I don't need. Um, I'm not 100% sure why I'm keeping the flare gun. It's mostly just because I don't have one. Fire Otherwise. Are the elite of the responders taking out the scorched one. At Let's sell some of this time. stuff. Um, these other outfits, when I get back to my stash, I'll put them in there. Blackwater brew. Sell that. And do I have any other drinks I want to get rid of. Responders. Set up Responders. Don't want to sell any of that. Sell all this junk by pressing pressing the space bar quickly many times. I mean, each one of these is only worth one or two coins, but when you've got a whole bunch of them, that adds up, man. I mean, look how many caps I've got. I said coins. Caps. Okay, sell it. Oh, now the game's being weird. It's doing this weird thing where um, it kind of grays out. All right. Okay, so we sold off a bunch of stuff again. Let's go back up to the roof. I am programmed to trade match made in heaven. So this guy's still running around out here. Why don't I join the fire breathers? I don't even see. Okay, whatever I'm looking for is in that direction. Okay. 
Well, there's a way down, but let's uh, just see if there's anything else cool up here before I go down. Alright, little lookout tower here. Huh. Some stuff in a wooden crate. Got a body over here. Some rat X, squirrel bits. Ooh, look at that. I guess that's a fire up there. Right? Interesting. Let's walk up here. Some goodies. Some ammo. I like ammo. Ammo's cool. Alright, well, I need to end this episode, so we're just going to end this episode right here on top of the Charleston Fire Department when we come back next time. Uh, we'll see where we are, and then we will walk back to the fire department uh, to join the fire breathers, so make sure you come back then. Thank you so much for joining me again, everybody. Hope you had fun. If you did, let me know. Let me like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in the next episode.